This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. This is going to be the last video of 2022 and I thought to end this year with an interesting video and that's about impacts of Rusty Linux kernel on OpenBSD. Let's begin. Uh, Linux kernel 6.1 is uh, shipped with uh, Rust but as of now, there is no actual utility of Rust in Linux kernel, only the infrastructure is added. So a piece of Rust code can be compiled uh, in Linux kernel. And also Google Android has been using Rust since 2019. And they were one of the main party to support the initiative. Some facts about Rust. Rust is a memory safe language uh, main with main utility of system programming. It's dual licensed under Apache and MIT. So it's a permissive license and I'm assuming adding it to the OpenBSD based system wouldn't be a problem in terms of licensing. And also the use of Rust in Android has reduced memory safety vulnerabilities from 76% to 35% between 2019 to 2022. However, Rust uh, lacks of a standardization uh, like many languages by contrast of C and C++. It's, it has only a single, uh, let's say, production ready compiler and that one is based on LLVM and its dependency on LLVM is a good and bad thing if LLVM not support it doesn't support the platform Rust as a result won't be so be able to support that platform but also at the same time if LLVM has any performance optimization Rust automatically benefits from that optimization so that's a positive side of it. And also another thing which seems a bit unrelated to the technical topic, but is important to note, and I'm going to expand on it further, is about the Ross moderation team resigned entirely in 2021 over some issues. Now, what is the OpenBSD opinion about Rust? Well, before starting to talk about it, you should know that in OpenBSD, there's a restrict requirement that base must build the base. And this one is the main mantra of the OpenBSD. And if you have this one in mind, then you can actually understand the arguments that TO as well as the OpenBSD community uh, makes. But also, keep in mind that the facts that I have gathered here is a bit dated. Uh, basically, this argument, I think, popped up in 2017 based on the mailing list that I have found. And take all these points with a grain of salt. I am not sure whether the opinion has, has changed over the years or not, or some of these facts might not be true in 2022 anymore. So Tio's opinion about the Rust or adding any, let's say, safe language to the OpenBSD Open kernel is that basically adding the Rust toolchain increases the build time from 40 minutes to hours. And this is undesirable. Rust uh, core utilities are not POSIX compliance and only they share the names for example you have ls you have uh, cat and stuff like that and also the rust compiler itself cannot compile on i386 and this is a problem for the openbsd and on top of it overall the entire process is costly both in terms of compilation time and also integrating anything uh, like Rust to the OpenBSD base build. And his final word about the Rust or Haskell is that he thinks these compiler ecosystems face a grim, bloaty future. The rest of the OpenBSD community also agrees with Tio. 
and in the mailing list that I found the link is here of course you can read it yourself is that a lot of people they added their anecdotal experience about the any safe language or any actual language that is not C and I think there were a lot of I would say unfair comments but I will keep my opinions uh, to the for the end of this video so let's move on and what would be the impact of uh, introducing Rust to the Linux kernel on OpenBSD? This might be this might sound irrelevant to you if you are not familiar with the with with the process of how OpenBSD borrows some code from Linux kernel. OpenBSD borrows the DRM or DRM subsystem and bunch of I would say GPU drivers from Linux kernel. And if the idea on the Linux side is to move toward Rust, I assume that the future drivers or additions to the subsystem would be written in Rust 2. And we already have an example for it. So the Asahi Linux, the one that uh, the one that offers Apple uh, M1, M2 GPU driver maintained by Asahi Lina. Actually, the DRM subsystem or the driver is written in Rust. Granted that the code hasn't been merged to the Linux kernel upstream, but if it does, OpenBSD cannot simply copy paste that code because there is no Rust support on the base system don't get it wrong uh, openbsd has uh, has rust compiler in the port tree but there is no rust support in the base system so you must distinguish these two from each other otherwise if there was no rust compiler then the mozilla firefox wouldn't have been built or even compiled on the openbsd so the impact, the potential impact would be that more things will be written in Rust and OpenBSD cannot borrow stuff from Linux anymore, especially the new additions to the DRM or the GPU drivers, depending on the licensing, of course. And this may cause OpenBSD to fall behind in terms of driver even further. Now, what is my opinion about this situation? First of all, I have to say that we shouldn't look at this adding any language to the Linux kernel or to any actually system as something ideologically. We should look at this one in terms of technology mainly and see whether that makes sense or no. I would start with this point that we should never say no to anything new. We have to evaluate it carefully and then basically if we found an actual utility for it then add it to the code base to the kernel whether it would be a kernel whether it would be a web app or anything what i have witnessed or what i have seen in the uh, mailing list from 2017 is that a lot of people in the openbsc community they use the anecdotal experience to justify rejection of anything new whether it would be i don't know like whatever the new language or any new thing that challenges their mindset and they say okay if somebody uses the new uh, memory safe language but i haven't seen any good good people uh, good uh, like competent uh, developer i mean subjectively speaking that uses that uses those languages and they call names uh, about the they call names uh, or whomever actually uses those languages they call them incompetent and or they write bad codes or the the code won't be safe anymore whatever and i think this is a, a bit childish in my opinion is a very childish behavior and also being too different being opinionated is not a bad thing in my opinion but being extremely defensive or ideologically driven about anything that's toxic 
and I have seen that one in that mailing list. Many people feel free to disagree with me, by the way. Many people, they may disagree with me. Many people, they may actually unsubscribe from this uh, channel. But I would say that, that I think we shouldn't actually say no to anything new. Whether it will be rust, whether it will be, I don't know, a new foot. And also there is another argument about the uh, slow compilation time or the uh, language being uh, slow. And this one I would say that with all respect to TO and the OpenBSD community, I would say this uh, slow compilation uh, argument doesn't make sense in my opinion. Because um, if we wanted to uh, stick to this argument, we wouldn't have actually evolved since, I don't know, 1950s. Because why would you use C if you could use assembly? Or if you could just write in the machine code? Huh? Both of the, those are much faster than C. They are 100 times faster than C. So this is slow compilation doesn't make sense. I remember also, I mean not remember, I read the history about Java also in, in 90s. Uh, there were also a lot of pushback because the language were slow and it used a lot of memory. But uh, see what happened actually in 2022. Where is the Java? Java is not known for a slow anymore. It's extremely fast and JVM, everybody who, who is involved with it or who knows JVM to a certain degree knows that is a masterpiece in terms of Java itself, no, but JVM it is. It is a masterpiece. And and also there have been a lot of uh, compiler optimization over the years so that now Java is is just in time compiler if it's not ahead ahead of time compiler. So this is slow compilation doesn't make sense given the fact that also there are a lot of hardware uh, improvements in terms of uh, speed, in terms of capacity over the years. So what was a slow, let's say, five years ago in terms of compilation or anything is not, is not a slow anymore. Yes, the runtime, if I take, let's say, a Linux now and run it on my T430 ThinkPad, yes, it might be a slow. But if I take the same distribution, run it on my T480, is fast so the technology advancement we should take it actually into the account the next one is about the rust community if you remember i mentioned that the rust uh, moderation team has resigned in 2021 due to some problems or let's say disagreements this one concerns me a bit because it's a it's a let's say red flag to me that maybe the community is a bit politically driven. This is a controversy thing to say nowadays, uh, rather than focus on the technology. And I believe that involving any like ideological uh, warfare or the uh, political stuff, identity politics, to the any community, especially free slash open source community, would be destructive rather than constructive, and it causes people, it causes division in the community, and you can guess the rest of it. That's the concern. I'm not saying the Rust community is like that. I have I have no interaction with them uh, whatsoever by now, uh, as of now. But it's something that I have seen the history, that I have read about it, and I'm saying that's maybe a concern. Whether I hope that's not. I hope I, I hope I'm hundred percent wrong. And there's another thing, and that one is about putting uh, rust on a pedestal, and I think this is also wrong. I I have read a lot of posts that they mention. Oh, now that rust actually rust is a memory safe language. Yeah, that is hundred percent true and also I would say it prevents a lot of like uh, uh, unsafe uh, practices but this doesn't mean that uh, the developers can get out of the hook easily 
it doesn't mean that uh, now they can write any sort of code and then it would work and it would be like sort of bug free or vulnerability free that's absolutely wrong we shouldn't have that mindset and i think those people who put rust on the pedestal they are doing a disservice to the community uh, using rust or any language it shouldn't make developers lazy to only uh, to not think a bit deeper about the impact of the code that they write now the last two points are about the openbsd should openbsd start using rust i would say absolutely not at this point of time given the fact that a, a rust adaption in the linux kernel is at its very early stage uh, even though that uh, linux has uh, linux has a huge community and also a lot of uh, competent developers a lot of money actually goes to the linux kernel development if they are at the very earliest stage there is no point actually for openbsd to start using rust or to even thinking about introducing it however i must say that if a lot of codes uh, written in rust would be added assuming a lot of code written in rust would be added to the kernel that hampers uh, OpenBSD adapting further enhancements or future improvements uh, from uh, kernel Linux kernel, then maybe they have to start considering it. But until then, we have no idea what is going to happen, and we hope that things will be end up for good, not for bad. But assuming that there would be a lot of uh, DRM code uh, written in Rust, then in that case, I would say, yes, definitely OpenBSD should uh, start using Rust, but only for few architecture, not for everything, not for the legacy architecture, but only for, let's say, 64-bit uh, architecture and, and uh, ARM ar architecture and RISC-V just handful of them, not everything. Uh, would introducing the Rust uh, to Linux kernel causes a lot of uh, people switch from Linux to OpenBSD? I would say absolutely not. Uh, in my opinion, 99% uh, of the Linux kernel, they don't care, the Linux uh, users. They don't care whether Linux is written in Rust or written in JavaScript. And those who care, I would say they are just like only curious and they are indifferent and not willing to, let's say, make a switch to OpenBSD because a new language is introduced to the Linux kernel. Those who are unhappy, let's say, about the change and are uh, very opinionated against Rust, they may look into the alternative operating system, but I would assume uh, that they are not going to switch to OpenBSD because that type of mindset that is very, let's say, defensive against uh, anything new or cannot accept anything that differs from the uh, from their opinion that type of person will have a hard time switching to openbsd because uh, switching from linux to openbsd is not just a, a drop and replacement it requires a lot of work and i would say even it requires a paradigm shift and those people they cannot make it true in my opinion and the bonus i highly recommend to watch this video by Rick uh, Floater and in the video he talks about porting Relady from uh, C to Rust of course as a just like a pet project not something serious and this person is the main author or, of Relady if I'm not mistaken and also he's a former contributor to OpenBSD watch this talk I would say it's a very interesting one that's all for this video. I wish you Happy New Year and I will see you guys in 2023.